Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will download and install the latest version of Python and PyCharm on Windows 10. The latest version of Python is 3.14 and the latest version of PyCharm is version 2025-254. So let's start. So first I will go to Chrome. Here I will search bar Python. First we will install Python. Go to this first link. Click on this downloads. Now you can download this Python manager and install Python Promet, or you can download this standalone installer for Python. So I'll download this standalone installer. So I'll click on this and it will start downloading Python. So now it is downloaded. So I'll right click on this and open it. Now remember to check this checkbox as well as this one. Now click on this customize installation. Now leave it is default. Click next. Now check this install Python 3.14 for all user. Check this. Keep this Python installation directory the same as default and click install. And click yes here. Now the installation is in progress so it will take some time so we will wait. So the installation is almost complete so it will take a few seconds. So now the installation is successful. So I'll close this. Now we will verify our Python installation. So for that I will come to this search and type here cmd at enter and now here I will write python hyphen hyphen version and hit enter and it has shown us the python version we just installed. So I'll close this. I'll close this as well. Now I'll click on new tab and I will close this and here I will search for py Job. Download at enter. Now go to this first link jetbrains.com. Click this. So now here is the download button. So if I click on this, you can see we have exe for Windows, we exe and exe for Windows RM64. So we'll click on this exe for Windows and it will start downloading by charm as you can see here. It will take some time, so we will wait. So now the download is complete. So I'll go to the show in folder. I'll right click on this, open it. Click yes here. As you can see, then an installer is open. So I'll click next. It will install PyCharm on this path. Leave it as default. It requires the space 3.4 GB. Click next. Now from here, I will select this create this top shortcut and click next. And now I'll click on this install to install it. So now you can see here that the installation is in progress. It will take some time, so we will wait. The installation is almost complete, so it will take a few more seconds. Now the installation is complete, so I'll click on this finish. I'll close this, close this as well. And now here, I'll right click on this PyCharm icon and open it. Now here, it is asking you to import Visual Studio Code setting. Skip this. Now you can see our PyCharm is launched. Now you can customize it from here. You can change the theme from here. You can select light theme, light with light header and high contrast. But I like this dog theme, so I'll select this like. I'll again go to projects. Now we will create a new project. So I'll click on this new project. Now here I will change the name of the project to add two numbers and click create. And it will create our project. Now I'll maximize this. So now our project is created. So if I expand this, so we have this E in V file inside this and now if I expand this env we have this lips and script. Now we will create a new python file in this so I'll right click on this and create new python file and I'll name this uh, sum and I do not need to add the that py extension it, it will be automatically added with it so if I click enter so now you can see that sum.py file is created. Now I'll create an addition program here so I'll use a equals 66 and B equals 77 and then I will print A plus B and now I'll run this. To run a Python file in PyCharm click on this run button and as you can see here 143 is printed in this console. So in this way you can download and install the latest version of Python and PyCharm on Windows 10 and can run Python programs. So I think that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.